could be described as kind of like a, a pseudo-Afro-Cuban, post-avant-garde, quasi-West Coast, neo-Debussian jazz type piece that combined modes of auditory apprehension in order to dissolve them into the intangible realm of sound. The, uh, this festival has a sense of community uh, that's rare, and so it feels like I'm coming home. It's wonderful. The festival has been great. Uh, we love coming to Litchfield. We love coming here. We love the students coming to check out the instruments and uh, just love being part of this great festivity. All the people here, the great music, and uh, we look forward to coming back year and year. You know, we wanted to bring some flamenco and jazz fusion into the festival. We're really delighted. This is a, really a prestigious festival. So uh, we have Chris Jensen, who is our special guest. And of course, my brother Jose Ramos, Carlos Hernandez Chavez on bass, Matt Model on percussion, and Ashley Jones on violin. Uh, we brought in some really different textures, musical uh, phrasings, voicings, and of course the flamenco fire, a passion flamenca that, that we always bring. I encourage people to come to the festival. You're missing a great thing if you're not here today. Oh, this is beautiful. This is this place is beautiful and it's well, well kept and, and professional staff. It's really been great. Jazz camp's awesome. Like all the all the instructors are are very successful, and um, like learning from them is just amazing. If it was rock and roll, it'd be like going to a camp of like Jimi Hendrix or like those kind of people. It's like it's really interesting. Like I was here uh, teaching the second week, and I had a really inspiring group of young people that played uh, all their own music. So it was really very special to see it and uh, to see uh, the lift and the. Uh, offering and receiving of sound and really playing together, you know, for, for young folks like this, wow, it was maybe, I've been doing these kind of camps for years and years and it was maybe the strongest ensemble I've ever had at one of these. Really great feeling, so that was very inspiring. Oh, this Litchfield Jazz Festival is the greatest thing yet. They let me park my motorcycle close to the event, there's plenty of food and we're heading for the tent for the gospel. Uh, Vita uh, mentioned a young lady to me last week who uh, joined the jazz camp. And she said, you got to hear this young lady. Um, I think she's 13. Oh, we're going to invite Zanny Scott to join us here on this last tune. How about a hand for Zanny? <laughs> So, you know, I heard a lot of this kind of music coming up as, as a child and, of course, got interested and started playing um, bass in the church. Of course, then went on and uh, did a career more in jazz, which is what most people know me for. But I've been able to fuse jazz music and gospel music. I'm not quite sure. I think it's the fourth or fifth time I've been here. So, um, obviously, they must like me and um, I like them and it, uh, it seems to work. Well, it's a sphere. There are no boundaries when it comes down to music. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter 
what kind of religion, what it is that you're worshiping, but the thing is, it's something about music and there's no boundaries. And when it's gospel, it's positive. And um, it's just full of heart, it's full of joy, it's happy. So no matter what kind of background you have, you have no choice but to get up and clap your hands and join in. The thing about music, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. It's, it's an ongoing, it's a lifelong pursuit, really. So, you know, I know personally, I'm always searching for the, you know, the next, you know, improving and improving and improving, you know, because that's what it's all about. I think, you know, about the sacred, about black sacred music or gospel music, I think what it is is it's a shared experience. Um, even though it comes out of a particular time period, it's about a shared uh, situation of, of human, the human condition, human suffering, and everybody needs to feel some type of freedom from that, and the collective, I think, provides that. I mean, everybody at the whether, whatever creed they are, I definitely know that they related to this music. We uh, do what basically what I do all the time. We, I'm, I'm a gospel singer and so forth and director. Avery and I grew up in the church. My sister, all of us grew up in the church and um, got some more people from the uh, Williams College Choir. We just do our thing. <laughs> well, the music is uh, phenomenal. The players are just incredible. Um, weather's fantastic it's a good day to be out and uh, that's why we're here I've been attending for four years and this I like it every year is excellent but this year is very different how they're incorporated the music and really really liking it well this is my first time here in Litchfield and this is fantastic it's a beautiful day and great music <laughs> You know, you might not know what's going to happen, but everybody kind of has a, an idea of what they want to bring. And I think just uh, at, when you're approaching a, just any band situation, you always want to play your part. And I think that with these great musicians, it was just really easy to find what my part was going to be in terms of bringing energy, not only playing bass, but bringing energy to the bandstand. It was awesome. Four baritone players, Claire Daly, Lauren Sevian, Gary, myself, and uh, a lot of fun. We did some Pepper Adams starts, we did a Mulligan thing. We did uh, Mingus Tribute, we did some Harry Carney stuff, it was great. It was a lot of fun, a lot of baritone.
We did an Ellington Strayhorn medley of ballads, which was which was a lot of fun just to just to you know just play through the melodies and the way we strung them together. That was really enjoyable listening to everybody's take on that. This is about the uh, the coolest venue I've ever been at as far as laid back. Everybody's having a good time. We're conversing. We're sharing stories. It, it's just phenomenal. It's just a, what a great meld of music. It's phenomenal. It, it really is. It's one of the most phenomenal things. I'm having such a good time. better. The weather's great. The music is great. The, the company is great. Great. It's all great. <laughs> father used to say you are what you eat but you're, you also are what you listen to so I grew up listening to everything it was just music you know and uh, my father was a uh, classical buff and a jazz buff then my brother for everything else from rock to pop and so I got just everything it's a great festival good good people good vibes everything really cool festival I'm glad to be here with my own band again Perform with Oren Evans Trio with Bill Stewart, and uh, it was good playing with Oren. I haven't played with him in a good while, and it's, it was fun. I just got here like a few hours ago, so yeah, I'm gonna start hanging around and checking out some other music. It's a great festival, yeah. It's uh, I'm glad glad it's uh, happening here on a beautiful day, beautiful space, and uh, people coming out. And it's great. Lost in each other's arms, let's get lost, 
let them send out alarms And though they'll think us rather rude Let's tell the world we're in that Marvelous. From the beginning, we're just well taken care of, and every, I, it's it's stupendous. I, I want to to move here and just work here all the time for a living. You think that's possible? There will be other lips that I may kiss, but they won't thrill me like yours used to do. Having an amazing uh, time here at the Litchfield Jazz Festival. It's a glorious day. The weather couldn't be better. You know, Litchfield County is gorgeous, and it's a really nice venue, and you know, great music, and very relaxing. And it's just, it's wonderful. It's a great way to spend a Sunday. You know, see, jazz is like, <clears throat> excuse me, like life. Every day you improvise. And if, and if you're a great jazz musician, it will teach you how to be a great human being, how to make decisions. It's weird, that's not it's the truth. Oh, I love this venue. I think this is the fourth time I've been up here. And I always look forward to coming. Whenever I get the chance, it's, it's, a, it's a real pleasure. Fun. It's my first time. I actually won the ticket, so I'm here with my parents, my boyfriend, and really enjoying ourselves and having really good food. I love the music. It's really fun. It's not too hot. The turnout this year is absolutely spectacular. We weathered the storm Friday night. We, we, we fought through the mosquitoes and the mud and all that good stuff. The show was great on Friday night, and now the payoff is here. The turnout's great. The performers are great. Everything's going smooth. We've got the weather. The lineup is great, show after show, act after act. And uh, I know everyone's going to have the time of their lives.
Eric Alexander, tenor saxophone. Yours duly on the drum. Some things we agree on, some things we don't. But one thing we always agree on is it never hurts to kill with a with a killer Latin act at the end. That always goes home well. Please welcome Papo Vasquez, Mighty Pirates Troubadours. <laughs> Thank you. 